What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at um, our running back room and um, basically just addressing who I think is pretty much guaranteed to make this roster, uh, assuming that there's football this year anyway, and uh, who the guys are that are really going to have to compete. And it really comes down to how many running backs Brian Flores decides to keep, honestly. Um, but I've, I've got it here. As you can kind of see, I got it on... Um, Spall track. I, I still don't know how to pronounce the website name, but whatever. Um, Jordan Howard and Matt Breida. There are two new running backs this year, well, along with uh, Malcolm Perry here, the rookie. Um, ignore the age. He's obviously not 13. <laughs> uh, they mess up rookies sometimes. But, um, yeah. But Jordan Howard... I mean, he's he's probably going to be our starter. Um, it, it's really going to be him and Matt Breida together, probably rotating depending on the um, the look we're looking at. Uh, I think they're both relatively guaranteed to make this roster. I, I think they have the most secure jobs out of anybody. Um, after that, though, I think these next four all are going to have to fight for this roster to to, to just stay. Um, Kalen Balaj and Patrick Laird both got some pretty significant playing time last year, and neither one of them really did that great. But to be fair, our offensive line was absolutely terrible, so can't really be too mad at them there. Um, that just is what that is. But at the end of the day, uh, I I, I don't I don't know who's gonna make this roster. I don't really see it being. Kalen Balaj, because I think Jordan Howard can do a lot of the things that Kalen Balaj does for us. So, and as you can see, Jordan Howard is only a year older than him. Uh, same with Matt Breida. Uh, I think Miles Gaskin. I think he's gonna have a pretty tough road to climb. Like I don't, I don't see him. I think he might be the low man on the totem pole. Um, Patrick Laird, and he really showed up in preseason last year, and he got some significant playing time. Malcolm Perry is a guy that we drafted late. Uh, I wouldn't mind hanging on to Malcolm Perry just because I think his upside's pretty good. He actually played quarterback, uh, more of a wildcat quarterback at, at Navy. Um, so I'd like to see what kind of packages we can come up with. Like he's also technically a receiver as well. Um, so that that's something to consider. So we'll be moving him around a lot. We can maybe do some trick plays, let him throw the ball a little bit. So just because of that, I wouldn't mind at least putting him on the practice squad. Like I said, I don't know how many running backs we plan to keep, but we do have Chandler Cox as well over here at fullback. Uh, he's safe because we don't have any other fullbacks on the roster. So um, I think he's relatively safe, and we actually drafted him last year. And people don't teams don't typically draft a fullback unless they plan on keeping him. So. It is what it is with that. Um, personally, if we're keeping a fullback too, I I would rather just keep three running backs on the active roster. Maybe have one on practice squad. So if it was me, I would probably have Jordan Howard and Matt Breida obviously as the starters that'd be rotating. Um, I probably put Malcolm Perry on the practice squad. And then let Laird, Gaskin, and Balaj fight it out. I think Ga I think Gaskin's probably going to lose that fight. Um, but as far as Kalen Balaj or Patrick Laird go, I have no idea. I have no idea who will win that fight. Um, just let them fight it out in training camp and preseason. Just see how it goes. Um, not particularly excited about either either of them. But our running back room as a whole should really improve this year. Uh, Jordan Howard and Matt Breida, they're not, like, fantastic, but they're solid, and it's much better than what we had last year. And also with the addition of people like an Austin Jackson, you know, just us improving our offensive linemen, our offensive line as a whole, should really be able to help our running back room as well. So we'll just have to keep looking at that. But, um, yeah, anyway, I just kind of wanted to give some quick thoughts um, I know I've been kind of lax on the Dolphins content right now. There just isn't that much to talk about. Uh, if training camp can happen and we start getting stories out of training camp, then that, that'll be something. Um, 
Also, I'm looking, it's looking like I'm probably going to have to move here shortly as well. So, um, that might get in the way of things. We'll see. Just is what it is, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.